if you are watching this video, that means you must be interested in starting programs with us. Um, to go ahead and get started, we're gonna fill out the camper application. So here on this first page, you are gonna just put in your first name, last name, your email address, and then your relationship to the participant. Here you're gonna go ahead and create a password. All right, and as we come in here, you're gonna go ahead and select the season that you're wanting to enroll for. So um, in this case, we're gonna do 2022. Um, go ahead and put how you hear about us, and then we're just gonna fill out the information about your camper. So as soon as you finish filling out the basic information about your participant, you're gonna go to the next page and see all of the programs we have to offer. Um, through here, we're just gonna select a couple mini tours. If you see the red hourglass, that means that event is currently waitlisting. If you select it, it will add you to our waitlist. Um, so then as soon as we do that, we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And on this next page, you're gonna put your household information. So this is about you as the guardian. The first time you're filling out this application, it will ask you automatically for a second parent or guardian. There's an option to remove second parent or guardian option at the bottom of the page. So if you don't have one, that's what you can click there. And um, then you're just gonna go ahead and put in two emergency contacts. They are both required. Once you've completed this page, you can go ahead and click continue. It's gonna take us to page three. Here you can upload a picture of your camper or if your camper has a cell phone, we do request their cell phone number, although it's not required. Next, we're gonna go ahead and fill out the personal information about your camper. The information on this page just helps us assign scholarships and also gives our staff just a little bit more insight about your camper and things that we can do to make their time with us successful.
When you're finished with this page, it's gonna take you to the financial options. You're gonna go ahead and select pay balance in full by cash or check. Then it won't ask you to put a debit card on file at this time or you're welcome to. From there, you're gonna go ahead and read the terms and conditions, select the I have read and agree, and then add your signature. Now that we've completed the application, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a short little walkthrough of the parent portal. So to access that, you're gonna go ahead to the My Account menu option down at the bottom corner, click that, and then it's gonna take you to this dashboard here. So up top, you're gonna to see forms and documents, camper referral form, camper application, a couple other things. So the three you're gonna see most is the forms and documents tab, the camper application, and the financial management tab. Those are the ones that you're gonna be using most often. So we can go up here to the forms and documents. This is our required forms. Um, so since we were applying for the 2022 year, we're gonna go ahead and select 2022. And then all of these forms here are required, the ones in bold. The ones that are not in bold are just information that you can read before you sign the form. So here we're gonna do an example of filling out the COVID waiver. The first blank is gonna be your name on this one. The second blank is gonna be your participant's name. And then we've got a lot of stuff that you can read through here and then you can go ahead and sign it at the bottom and click submit. And that will make it show up as green on the 2022 forms and documents. And that means that that paperwork has been received. Then we'll have a couple more for you to fill out the releases, the HIPAA, the medication form, policies and procedures, the release of information, and we also need a current physical. That just needs to be done within two years. Next, we're gonna look at the financial management tab. Here we can go ahead and click down for the 2022 to see what you would owe. Currently there's no O because we are not enrolled yet. Just because you've applied does not mean you are enrolled. That happens on our end. You can also add a debit card there. To add future activities later, you're just gonna enter the camper application and update that information.